Hey, I've had my uh, CB handle snowman since I was about 13 or 14. Um, I've always been fascinated with CB radios. Um, you know, I've, I've, uh, balls. I reckon I, uh, got my CB handle when I was about 13 or so. I've always messed, liked to mess around with CB radios. I'd go with the old man in the truck and I'd chat on the radio or just screw around with it. Uh, but when I was like, I was about 13, I put a base radio up in my garage. Uh, a 2527 Galaxy I bought. Great big base radio. Uh, I had that in a 200 watt uh, Galaxy pump behind it. Had a uh, you know, what the hell kind of antenna was that? Antron 99, you know, three-piece, 18-foot fiberglass base antenna on top of about a this is about a 30-foot pole. You know, my dad worked, you know, not super local, but pretty close. He owned dump trucks at that time, and uh, you know, if he was 50 miles away, that was a long day for him. He just like Paris, Illinois to you know, maybe Cloverdale, Indiana is about the farthest he went. And you know, worked out of that pit over there a lot. But anyhow, I put that base radio up. And he had linear in his truck. You know, we yak back and forth whenever I was at home. And, uh, you know, we got to talking one day, decided I needed a handle. He said, well, you know, your favorite movie's always been Smokey and a Bandit ever since you were little. So why don't you go by Bandit? Nah, that's not that cool. Uh, how about Snowman? Jerry Reed was much cooler than Burt Reynolds, and besides, he was the one that drove the truck, so that's uh, that's been my handle since I was like 13. You know, I, I, I've even got buddies that I did some dump trucking with, and that's all they ever called me was Snowman. Uh, there's one guy I run into frequently, well, not frequently, but every once in a while. I, I don't even think the dude knows my name. He's always just called me Snowman, so there you have it. How about it, Gizmo? Kick it back to the Snowman one time. Come on. <laughs>